um, where we left off last time uh, in building this is we have had uh, and we made our div tag and inserted the header and so we have those two things done and now we're going to move to adding the navigation tag section and article tags a side and footer okay and basically we're going to just repeat the same process we did before we're going to come down here now remember whatever I put between the opening and closing header tags will appear inside of here. So I want to be inside the div container but not inside the head or the header tag. So right underneath header here I'm going to start typing and this is going to be nav and a v and you can see that it just shows up for me. I'm going to close that tag, hit return and then open it forward slash and it finishes the typing for me. So that's pretty nice. So now I can, and I, we will, let's go ahead and make, if I click or select this, my properties, uh, my uh, tag selector down here should, should, should show nav. And when I go to make now a new CSS style at the bottom of my CSS style panel, when I make a new rule, it'll start in the right place. Now, this is too much uh, information for me. All I really need to do is make a rule for nav. So I'm going to hit less specific here. I know it's in the container. It's going to be the only nav um, tag on the screen. So less specific works for me. And then I'll just say, OK. The rules we want to give nav, it's going to be down here, remember. Uh, we'll start by giving it a background color so we can see it. Let's pick a lovely, oh, that there, no, nothing in here is lovely. There, orange. Orange is good. Uh, you choose any color you like. Now I'm going to go to box. I'm going to say the width of this is going to be 100. The height will be 200 pixels. I'm going to float this one to the left, and we'll go over what all this floating around stuff means. And then margin, same as last time, 25, same for all. And I'm going to hit apply, and it should put it about right there on the screen. Okay, and you can see that over here, now oh, I can't get to it yet. I'll say okay to that rule. You can see it's added a new CSS rule right here up in the head portion of our HTML. In the body, all we have is an open and close nav tag. Okay, so. After nav, we're going to put section. So, and look at that. No typing. Don't you love it? Okay. Hit return, open bracket, forward slash, and it finishes it for me. So section is going to be this piece right here. Right here. Okay. Um, We'll come back and add the articles later, but we're just going to put in the tags for the aside and the footer next. Okay, so over here, um, let's do this. Return uh, section we have aside and footer. Okay, so now we've added section, aside, and footer. Now inside the section, we want these two articles to be. Okay, so if I click here on the first section, the open tag, and give myself a couple of spaces, I can type article and close it. And I want two, so I'm just going to copy Command C and paste that. So now I have my section has two articles, one here and one there. You can't see them, they're there. We need to, uh, to make some styles for them to make them work, okay? So um, with this on section, section, I wanna see this tag down here. This lets me know that when I make a new rule, 
that's going to be included in it. So down here, new rule, it's, uh, again, I don't need the word container, so I'm going to make it less specific, just the tag section, section, <laughs> say okay to that. We need to give it a lovely color. The background color will be, hmm, hmm, oh, that's lovely. Okay. Uh, the box, the width on this is going to be 250 pixels and, oops, um, 200 high to match the navigation. And we're going to float this one also left and the same space around. We'll apply that. And there's our section box, okay? So I'm going to say OK to that. Um, here's a kind of shortcut. The next one we're going to make is the same size as this box. So if I look over here in under my styles, if you see this, just twirl this little arrow open. And you can see I have the huge cursor now. Um, <laughs> never mind. Uh, and I'm going to use navigation. I'm going to click on navigation and then I can either control click or right click on navigation and duplicate. And when I duplicate it, it opens it up here and then all I have to do is type aside and say OK. And it creates the this one with all the rules only now it's only being applied to a side. If I want to change the color I can go here and I can change the color down here or double click to open that dialog box uh, again and then go change the color here. And of course we'd like it to be this color right over here. Okay. So now we have the aside. Uh, last is the footer, and it's a lot like the header as far as size and everything. So I'm going to go to the header. In fact, there's something I want to change in the header. Right now, I want to change the box to also float right or left. And I'll say OK to that. Didn't change anything here, but it will change it in some browsers. Um, I am going to right click or control click on the word header, duplicate it, change it to footer. Say OK. Now it's too wide, so I'm going to change footer, and I'm going to go down here and change it this time. My height is 100 pixels, and I'll just change that to 50, hit enter, and now it fits on the screen. The color uh, needs to be this, this color exactly. Oh, that's perfect. I've designed this very nice, I think. OK, so now we have all the parts in here. Um, and so I'm going to save because that would be a good thing to do. Um, like I said, get in the habit of going save all, okay? And that's control command S on a Mac just to save any other documents that you happen to have open. Later, you're going to have a lot of documents open, um, uh, and you'll want to save everything so you don't, you know, close something without saving it. So save all is a good habit to get into. Now, uh, we're going to uh, type in this box right here to put some text up there. And it's not always easy to get the cursor exactly where you want it, but that's it. If you can see that, let me see if this will zoom in. See the flashing insertion point right there? It's inside that box. The other way you can check to see if that's really working or not is over here, it put my cursor right after the open header tag. And that's where I want to be. And then I'm just going to start typing out here. Oops, see now I've done it again. You kind of click up, there we go. All right. Is home, I don't know, doesn't matter. Okay, so there's that. I'm watch, see my code now just has Brian's homepage, but no tags except for header around it. When I hit return, it'll automatically insert P tags. Okay, that means it's a paragraph at this point. I'm going to delete one space here to get rid of that second one. So inside header, my header open and close tag right here, I have a paragraph tag. And that's just another way of controlling uh, that text. But I'm going to change that paragraph tag to something else. I'm going to change it to um, 
an, a header, um, I'm sorry, I'm going to change, hold on, this, oh, I need to be it down here. In my properties window down here in the box, I want to make sure it says HTML. And then I'm going to change that format to read H1. Now my tag says H1. And all these things are for is controlling the text that's tagged with them. So I can have a rule for H3, and it can be anything. Um, if you don't apply a rule to it, then every browser kind of has its own default uh, style for that. So if you don't control it, it'll get controlled by somebody else. And who wants that, right? Okay, so now that that is an H1 tag, I can um, write a rule for it. Okay, and that's what I'm going to do. H1 down here, new rule. Too much information, don't need this. This kind of compound selector says that in the tag header, all the H1s will have this rule. Well, I'm going to make it less specific still because I'm only going to have one H1 and I want it to have this style. So just H1, I'm going to say OK. And then I'm going to change the font. Well, I'm going to change the font family. Now these are all families. They're very friendly. Uh, Verdana uh, being the first one. And the reason there's font families is because every computer don't, doesn't have all these fonts loaded. So your first choice is Verdana. And then if it says, OK, end user, computer, do you have Verdana? No, you don't have Verdana. Then it looks down the list. Geneva? No Geneva, then it goes down the list. Any old sans serif will do. So it gets less gener uh, more generic generic, uh, and less specific as it goes down. Anyway, for Dana, that's for me. I'm going to apply to see that change. I am going to change my font color to white. And yuck. Um, I am going to change my font color to this really dark red. Oh, that's a terrible one. That's terrible. Okay, terrible is what I'm shooting for now. Okay, I'm going to go to box and then padding. I'm going to turn off same for all. And on the left side, I'm going to put 10 pixels and hit apply. Now oh, maybe 15 pixels and apply. I can also change the size, the type. I mean, I can do all kinds of stuff with this, right? You get the idea. So I'll say okay here. I'm going to save again, or do a save all, and that's Control Command S, just to make sure that everything's saved up. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to come to this box right here, the navigation box, and I'm going to click in it, make sure that my cursor is in the right spot there, and then I'm going to just start typing home, and I'm going to hit return, and then I'm going to type about, and hit return, and then contact and I don't need to hit return after that. See what it's done over here inside the navigation. All those got P tags, so I can control them with that P tag inside the navigation. All right, so let's, and because I want these to be navigation, um, we need to make them links. Uh, we don't have pages, we only have the home page now, uh, which is this page, the index HTML, as you can see right here. Um, but we can still fool them into thinking, we can fool the computer into thinking that these are links anyway. All right, and we'll start on that when we come back uh, for the part three of this movie. <laughs>